They're full of beans again after the rain. Oh, here we go. Oh, what a gorgeous fish. What a gorgeous little brownie. Goodbye, mate. Thank you very much. I haven't been able to get down the X for a while, so apologies for not having any videos for a bit. Um, I went away to Canada. Uh, hopefully, you guys have seen that video. Um, and since I got back, obviously, the uh, I managed to come down once, and the level was really, really low. So after that one trip, although it was amazing fun, I decided to leave it a little while. Um, had a load of rain down in Devon. Um, had a week of it. Um, I came down at the weekend, last weekend, and the water was chocolate brown. So I did try nymphing. Uh, I managed to miss one take. Um, and so what I've done is just, well, waited my first opportunity to come down since the uh, river's cleared. And I've got a pass to come out this evening. I want to get right under there, but I've already lost one fly up that tree. And in fact, I got that last fly up the tree, but the fish helped bring it out. Let's see if I can just get a little bit close to try and make my casting a bit easier. Well, that was a bit of a splash landing. That's terrible. Right, I think I have to go from this spot. I think I've just put the fish down. Maybe I can get it up and uh, drift it under. Is when you lose one flight, makes you well, makes my casts all a little bit. Excuse that. Ah, he was going to come up for another one, or was at it. I think he might have tasted metal that time. If you follow me on Facebook, you might have seen, I just uh, put a post on uh, last week. I'm planning a, uh, a trip to Dartmoor. Um, bit of a spur of the moment, or a bit of a off the wall plan. When I was down here last weekend, I decided I needed a change of scenery. And Dartmoor has got some stunning little uh, rivers, streams. Um, so I'm gonna do a weekend. Foolishly, um, I'm going to combine wild camping, walking, and fly fishing. Um, I haven't got a lot of time, obviously, have to do it now because the season's uh, almost up. But I only need one weekend. I got my pass signed for that as well. Oh, there's a riser over there. The problem is, once I make a little bit of a mistake, I push them back and then they're virtually impossible to get to. 
Ah, he took it. He took it. For some reason, I fouled him and he got off. He was a good chomp as well. So yeah, so uh, hopefully in a couple of weeks you'll see uh, I'll upload a video of wild camping and fly fishing on Dartmoor. Ooh, that went where it was supposed to. Oh, it's a pearl of a cast. Shame I missed that previous fish. Nope. Ooh, that was a I th that was a good cast. I thought I might get one then. Two on the trot. I'm on fire. That's too good cast on the trot. No fish, obviously. Right, let's try a couple more over here, and then I'm going to move upstream. I was planning on starting downstream a little bit further and doing practicing my nymphing. Ah, should practice my casting. But um, I got bullied by the cows, the bullocks. They won't let me pass. So I, um, ooh, there's a nice riser. It's over there, I'm sure you might have seen it. So I'm not casting, a, ooh, that was a refusal. All right, let's give this fly a dry in the dust. So yeah, plan B, dry fly fishing. So this Dartmoor trip, I can't wait for it. I'm really excited about it. I love camping. Um, the missus thinks I'm a little bit nuts. Um, spending two nights on Dartmoor. Quite a few miles of walking, a big rucksack, and the fly fishing gear. Personally, I think it's a genius idea. But then, I'm a big kid, aren't I? Like most blokes, we don't grow up. We just grow old. And the older we get, the dafter we get. Oh, it was a nice fish. That was a nice rise right in front of me and He's been ignoring everything. Let's see if I can get him up. Of tweaks maybe.
It's a bit gay for those who haven't heard before. Um, I'm using a Shakespeare Agility 10 foot three weight uh, rod. And a 10 foot means it gives me a little bit more reach three weight means these little wild brownies that we get down here on the uh, River X are so much fun. I'm not, uh, the rod's not overpowered so I can actually enjoy the fish rather than just feel like I'm just reeling them straight in. I think I'm gonna have to change my fly because although it worked those two, nothing else is coming up for it, yet yeah, there are quite a few risers here. Ah, and I wasn't paying attention. Pull, pull, pull. Stupid boy. Oh, too many leaps. What a beautiful fish, eh? Oh. And <laughs> that's the sort of fight you want. Oh, I can't be sorry losing that, that was fantastic. Nice sized fish, but that little bit of buzz. Now, look here, my, to get to fish, just stretch a river. Every time I come, I'm always on my ass, not true. I've met two people in two years on this river. Just two people. <laughs> and I'm going to Dartmoor. <laughs> Isolation. <laughs> I bet there's going to be stacks of people over there because it's coming up to the end of the season. bank before I move up. Casting hasn't improved, as you can tell. Still sloppy. But the fish don't know that. <laughs> A bit of a splash landing. Sometimes works on the X. Now I'm in grayling territory now, so you never know whether it's going to be a brownie or a grayling that gets the fly. I think that was brownie. Oh! That was your fault, guys. I was pointing out to you a brownie rising, and then a brownie did take the fly. Exactly where I thought what it would be. There's a stone over there. There's a bit of a ripple. Oh, see if his brother's around. Okay, the fish are definitely winning today. Oh, yeah, I think that was a grayling just down here.
right word, I think my box needs sharpening. And my hook sharpener's at home. One annoy me a little bit. Oh, I think I just a refusal then. Good job because I was checking out the line on my reel. Flipping heck. Oh. <laughs> There's only so many times you can mess up in one spot before you run out of chances. a bit to the left of where I wanted to be. That's to the right of where I wanted to be. Give this fly a bit of a dry in the dust. Relax. Compose myself. Hit the camera. I still think there's a couple around here. But what I think and what actually is can be very different. Still rise further upstream, so let's step up. Let it 
go the line pool. Oh! Why did he refuse then? Just can't see any twist in the line. That's his mates have told him not to touch this fly. Oh, hello. This is one for the net. Thank you very much. That. See, I can do it. I don't always win. That was a lovely sized little brownie as well. No monster, but I'm not here to catch records. This is memories. A growing man talking to himself in the middle of a river. That's the memory. Now, I also do this because uh, when I went to Canada, I was there visiting my family. <coughs> and um, they like to see that their son, brother, uncle, see what the idiot does. Right now, it's going to be a bit of a lost cause there after that beautiful fish, but... I'm not the smartest person in the world. I just love fishing. And I still think... Oh! Crash! Oh, goodness gracious! Come on, come on back up. You missed the fly. Yeah, there's still a few takers under this tree. Oh, God, not if I keep doing that. I want to see if I can get that one to rise again. Well, that was it, one hit wonder. That's an arc. Got to be looking up when the fly comes. Like me, they might be distracted and miss the fly. So I'm going to give them a few opportunities to miss it. God, I can feel the adrenaline. It's occasionally letting it drift down. Come on. Sometimes trout just don't appreciate a good cast.
still a little one down there taken, but not convinced by my fly. Yeah, I know, I'm pushing my look with this tree. Nice jumper. Ah, oh. oh, brown trout. Oh, lovely. It's a lovely sized fish. 